It's New Year's Eve today, so it's that time of year to rank all of the new for 2022 coasters. 2021 brought a few great coasters, but a lot of rides were pushed back to 2022, making this year one of the most coaster heavy yet. But first, let's mention a few honorable mentions. The coasters that didn't make the cut, but were very close, are Big Dipper, Emperor, Icebreaker, Defiance, Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger, Tron, Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, and Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. With that out of the way, let's rank the top 10 new for 2022 coasters. Number 10, Palindrome. This wacky Gershlauer is opening at Coda Land, a brand new amusement park that has been only open for a few months. It was announced at IAPA and will be opening late 2022. The ride starts as a typical Gershlauer at first, a beyond vertical drop after a vertical lift. But then things get wacky. Instead of typical inversions, we start with a stall over a road and a tight rapid transition that is sure to cause some great whip. Afterwards is another inversion before heading up what is called a vertical hop stall where the train extends almost upside down before vertically hopping back just to 90 degrees. Then the train takes the course backwards, which won't be as intense but has much more hang time than before. Palindrome, which is a great name for a type of ride like this, is definitely a ride that should not be overlooked. Number 9, Leviathan. No, not the Giga. This Gravity Group wooden coaster has a typical Twister wooden coaster layout and is opening at SeaWorld in Australia. Even though the pacing near the end looks underwhelming, the first half and unique seating gives this ride the edge to palindrome. The first half has a lot of great airtime moments and tight turns which are banked heavily, which will cause for some intense positives. The back car on this coaster faces backwards, so riders can experience the entire airtime filled layout in reverse. This will be a weird feeling, especially dropping backwards. Number 8, Roaring Timbers. This is the coaster that we know the least about. This is a GCI that will be opening in Vietnam, and from images it looks to have a great layout. It looks to have a plethora of sweeping turns with the classic GCI pops into and out of said turns. It also has low to the ground airtime moments and near misses with the supports. The best thing about this ride is the setting. Similar to Wood Coaster, this setting takes place on the side of a mountain, causing for phenomenal views and a terrain based layout. 7. Bombay Express This is another GCI opening up in Dubai, and is another we do not have a lot of information on, but from the layout it looks like an incredible coaster. While the pacing is questionable in the beginning with the first turn, it picks up the pace with the rest of the ride. It has a ton of different airtime pops littered throughout the wooded structure. It still has those incredible GCI turns as well with the pops in and out. Overall, Bombay Express looks like it has an airtime packed and intense ride experience. 6. Phoenix This Danish Vacoma is going to be the best Vacoma when it opens. It unfortunately has the vest restraints, but the sheer power of the elements in this layout make it possible to feel the airtime and whip with the vests. Speaking of whip, the first element, an inverted top hat, will provide incredible whip on the exit before heading into an absurd amount of airtime pops and twisted hills. Afterwards is an inversion through a building and the rest of the ride is full of whippy airtime moments and transitions. This ride needs to be talked about more. 5. Turbo Turtle Power This phenomenal Intamin creation coming to China is another one we don't have a ton of information on, but from a rendering, this ride looks incredible. Intamins never disappoint, and this one is no different. Turbo Turtle Power going to Nickelodeon Universe starts with a unique pre-launch section which includes a slow barrel roll. Following is a powerful Intamin launch which is typical for rides like this. After the launch is a crazy amount of ejector moments including one right out of the launch. The ride also includes a plethora of inversions including a cobra roll and inverted top hat. The best element looks like the off-axis floater hill before whipping back the other direction. This double launch coaster has potential to be one of the best Intamins in the world. Number 4, Airy Force 1. While I really don't like the name on this ride, I can't deny that the layout looks phenomenal, especially for a small park like Fun Spy Atlanta. A full-scale RMC is just what this park needs. This ride is incredible, and it includes the longest zero-g stall on a coaster, straight under the lift hill. It also includes a wacky outer bank that can rival Steel Vengeance's, and an inversion straight over a building. The second half is lower to the ground and full of powerful airtime moments and turns. Airy Force 1 will be the best ride in the Fun Spot chain and possibly in all of Georgia. Number 3, Hurricane. This ride is another coaster that a lot of people don't know about, and it's because it's going to China, which means it doesn't have a ton of information. But from the rendering, this mock ride launch coaster looks to be one of the most powerful in the world. While the launch won't be the best, the rest of the incredible layout will make up for it. This tallest moment on a mock ride coaster will provide incredible airtime, and following is one of the fastest inversions on a coaster, which will provide some great whip. The Cobra Roll in this ride also goes around the top hat and through a tight and powerful vertical loop. What's not to love in this fast-paced experience? 
I'm pretty sure everybody knows what the top two will be, but I'll rank them anyway. Number two, Iron Gwazi. This massive RMC, which will be the biggest when it opens, has some of the best moments ever. The pacing on this coaster is relentless from start to finish. The elements include an outer bank larger than Vengeance's, rapid transitions, an outer bank wave turn, and arguably the best inversion on a coaster, the Death Roll. This downward spiral is one of the whippiest inversions and one of the most intense. Also, in this ride is a zero-g stall and tight overbank. I can't really say anything that already hasn't been said. This ride is just incredible. Number 1, Pantheon. But the other Busch Gardens coaster is even better. You thought Hurricane was good? Pantheon takes it up to 11. This ride does everything Hurricane does, but more. More launches, goes backwards, a longer experience, a massive top hat, even more tight elements, a massive zero-g stall, and the best outer bank on any coaster in the world. And with only lap bars, the inversions and rapid transitions are easy to feel, and also oh of those positives. Pantheon is an incredible coaster and definitely is the best opening next year. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think about our list. Email me with questions or concerns and have a great rest of your day.